What vitamins should not be taken together? Many people take supplements to improve their health or prevent disease. In the United States, supplements are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. This means they do not come with strict instructions to follow or warnings about interactions like prescription medications. So, you have to pay attention to which supplements you are taking, when you take them, and how much you take. Vitamin combinations to avoid. Vitamin C with vitamin B12. Vitamin C is an essential antioxidant for immune system health. Vitamin B12 helps maintain your nervous system and form red blood cells. Studies show that taking these two supplements at the same time may reduce the amount of vitamin B12 that you receive. So, experts recommend taking these supplements at least two hours apart. Vitamin A supplement with vitamin A rich foods. Since vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin, any excess is stored in the body. So, you don't need to take vitamin A every single day. Too much vitamin A can lead to weaker bones and more bone fractures as you age. It can also be harmful to unborn babies. If you are pregnant or take a vitamin A supplement, avoid eating liver or liver pate. These foods are so high in vitamin A that even if you do not take a vitamin A supplement, you should only eat them once a week to avoid consuming too much. Folic acid, vitamin B9, and vitamin B12. While both of these B vitamins are important, taking too much folic acid or folate can actually hide the symptoms of a vitamin B12 deficiency. So, speak to your doctor to verify your vitamin levels before adding these supplements to your regimen. Vitamin E and vitamin K. It is well documented that vitamin E supplementation can lead to increased bleeding in some people. Some doctors prescribe a vitamin K supplement to help with blood clotting. Taking vitamin E at the same time can counteract the effects of vitamin K. Other supplement combinations to avoid. Copper and zinc. Both copper and zinc are important minerals. Most people get enough of these nutrients through the diet. Copper helps with brain development, nervous system health, and in making important tissues in the body. Zinc is an important mineral for healing. Different minerals can compete for absorption in your digestive system when taken at the same time. So, if you take copper and zinc together, one usually has poor absorption. In the case of these two supplements, zinc wins. People who take a lot of zinc supplements may develop a copper deficiency. One source of zinc supplementation is denture cream. If you use denture cream and experience neurological problems, you may have a copper deficiency. Green tea and iron. On their own, both of these supplements offer a lot of benefits. Green tea has anti-inflammatory compounds that may help people with conditions like inflammatory bowel disease. Iron is important for making hemoglobin, a protein in your blood. However, when taken together, the antioxidants from green tea bind to iron. This lessens the positive effects of consuming green tea. Calcium with other minerals. Calcium is an important mineral for bone health. Taking a calcium supplement can affect how your body absorbs other minerals including zinc, magnesium, or iron. If you take any combination of these supplements, talk to your doctor about the best timing for maximum absorption of each mineral.